Well, drug addiction is killing hundreds of Long Islanders every year, and the victims are getting younger. Tonight, the state Senate's Heroin Task Force was on the island talking about this crisis, and Nightside's Virginia Huey was there. More people are addicted, more people are using. They are on the front lines of the fight against the heroin and opioid crisis in New York. Today, local police, doctors, addiction experts, and recovering addicts met with the state Senate's Joint Task Force on Heroin and Opioid Addiction. The goal? To discuss ways to stem the growth of the epidemic. The people who are suffering from this horrible epidemic get younger and younger and younger every single year. According to the medical examiner's officers in Suffolk and Nassau counties, nearly 500 people died from opioid overdoses on Long Island last year. Panel members agree drug abuse education in schools, beginning in kindergarten, is key to fighting addiction. We cannot hide behind the bubble anymore, stay inside that bubble and not address it as a community. We can't allow the schools to downplay it. It has to be the front. That is the first thing a kid should be walking into school with and seeing these days because the amount and the percentage that we're seeing and the way it's increasing, we got to we got to put a stop to it. Panel members spoke about the need for improved insurance coverage and enhancing access to treatment, including inpatient, outpatient and medication assisted treatment. Addiction experts also call for the establishment of statewide guidelines on how to deal with overdose victims. We need statewide or at least countywide Nassar and Suffolk protocols of what we do with people who are revived and brought to ERs. It seems more times than not people are being discharged without any medical protocols, without any support network, and they're falling, unfortunately, back into overdose time and time again. State Senator George Amador says the task force will start working on it. We can make sure that the Department of Health and uh, Jacob has the necessary uh, means or statutorily if it's needed uh, to help hospitals say look lay out a set of protocols or guidelines so that it's very transparent. And lawmakers say they are going to use the local input to draft legislation aimed at fighting the epidemic. There is more than $200 million included in this year's state budget for efforts to prevent and fight addiction. Colleen.